Hi, Meow. Meow. And welcome back to the channel. I'm Shift. And I'm Electro. And we are Shift Pro Art. Woo. And in today's video, we are drawing our cat as a superhero identity. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you might see, that this is actually a redraw as well. Yes, because uh, f five years ago, I came up with a concept of one of our cats being a earth creature mixed with like a Tamaranian, Kryptonian-like creature. Yeah. So, as you, as you might not know, our cat has like massive paws and stuff like that, and he does not have a cat license at all. He is not a cat. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Funny to try and watch him try and be like our other cat, but he just fails. Yeah, so he's constantly just falling. And on the ground. So yeah. we thought, Earth powers, because he's always on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where we got that idea from. And, and then, also, I'm really clumsy, so I constantly cr trip on the ground. So you constantly just say to me, did you trip on gravity again? <laughs> so we kind of transplanted that to the cat. Yeah, so he's got earth and gravity powers. Yeah. And through that, with the new design, as you'll see, it's not really rocks, it's more of a crystal thing that we went with. And that's to go with uh, when you use pressure on rocks and stuff, they turn into crystals. So he's just done that to himself. Yeah. And the original concept is I wanted to do something different than just rock. I wanted to do something like rune stones, like really riverbed rocks, stones, river the stones. smooth ones and stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. So I wanted to do that and I wanted to like fuse it into the face and like have no nose or no mouth because it would be like An very alien-esque. Alien yes. yeah. yeah. And the first time I actually noticed it, like it went so bad trying to do the smooth rocks. I'm like it just looks like he's stuck tape like pieces of cut out cardboard onto his back and on his face and it just looked, didn't look like how you wanted it to. And uh, the stones coming out of the back you couldn't understand that they were actually coming out of the back like what are they called shoulder blades yeah <laughs> extended shoulder blades that had folded up and split into two so it was like you were just trying to wrap your brain around everything and then yeah <laughs> Yeah, and back then I was just like, my I just could not handle that. My brain sometimes with uh, Shiv's ideas, I'm just like, say what? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I just, my mind is like, I totally have no idea how to even begin that stuff. And it just doesn't happen. But then after I've usually drawn a picture, sometimes I'll come back like a couple months later and be like, I just get it now. I get you. I'm speaking a language. <laughs> I'm four months late, but I get it now. <laughs> and You're like, I'm like, when that happens, I'm like, okay. It's great that you catched up, but I wanted something completely different yeah, now. I'm over that now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, when you said, uh, what about his hands? Did you just, just not draw them in for some reason? I'm like, no, he doesn't have hands. They're like sharp legs. things. <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, but like, he's wearing gloves. And I'm like, when anybody draws extra limbs, yeah, they don't give them, like, say for example, a cat tail. Then it gives them clothes on a cat tail. Yeah, they're, they're still just people. always hanging out. <laughs> yeah, they have full clothes on, but they don't have anything on their tail. I'm like, that's still have clothes. Yeah. Even when people would give, you know, creatures or p people cat hind legs or like satyr legs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they'd have them completely bald and just have the fur out and stuff like that. I'm like, no, they would still have jeans. Yeah. But they'll just be like different shaped jeans. Yeah, I know. It, you keep making that point when I'm drawing creatures like, why don't they have shoes on? I'm like, because it's a cat foot. And you're like, but you know, they're like a human and a cat and the human side of them would be like, I should probably put on some shoes because you know, my feet might hurt if I walk on some rocks with them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, that's a good point. But I, I mean, don't want to have to design cat shoes. <laughs> The thing with cats is they don't feel the rocks that much because they've got the fur over their pads. Mm. But you don't draw fur on their actual feet yeah. or on their pads. So they just have their tiny little cute toes touching all the hot cement and stuff like that. And I'm like, if they've got a human brain, they're still going to make shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, just things I wouldn't think about. You're just like, do this. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> And like, okay, so back to the picture. Uh, the crystal design rocks, I think I started off with rocks and then it morphed into crystals. And uh, just drawing them was so weird because it's like a random pattern to try and draw rocks. But at the same time, it's got to be constructive because I wanted to have like a certain look about it. So it was like rocks, but they can't be rock. It's just like, 
the whole concept of it was just really hard to come to a design for it. Yeah, and the concept with this is is not only is the skin that you see skin, but the rock is skin. Yeah. It's so. all part of it. So you had to kind of figure out how something would, like that would grow on it. So it would be skin, hair, all that kind of stuff. Um, like the nails, the difference between nails and hair is the rocks and the hair and the skin. So it was like you had to look up how mold would grow or how, what's that stuff called? Moss. The, moss. moss. Moss on a rock or moss on a something. <laughs> moss on a rock, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it was just, I redesigned the, the whole thing like three or four times until I came up with a way to draw it that suit the design because I wanted the things coming out of the back like in the previous one but done a bit better and actually look like they're coming out of the back <laughs> and stuff like that and then I landed on this and then when it came to crystals or when I thought about the colouring and shading I'm like I've never done a crystal before like I've done gems and it's just like random colours here and there so I kind of got that concept and when I was thinking about it I'm like oh it's just simple you just put one reflect on it that just yeah, but like the light <laughs> reflex is so weird of like, I don't know what to do. So I did random. Yeah. <laughs> just like, I'll put some there. And then I zoomed. I'm like, yeah, that looks good. Then I go back in, do some more zoom back out. They're like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and so that's why with like this one I did with the editing, I've got the, on the right hand side, I've got it just zoomed out for you guys. So you're not going in and out, in and out. And your brain's just like, why? <laughs> and even with the crystals on the arms and the chest, they're made of the same thing. Yeah but they have calligraphy on them or filigree or whatever it's called Swelly because stuff. yes because that's the crystals i don't know, I don't know you I just did, wanted that them. was my vision <laughs> so i put i wanted them on there they're on there yeah and so that's like with the original pose it was a terrible pose i could admit that for the design of the character it just didn't work with the way things wanted like especially with the rock coming out of the face it just looks super dodgy I, like i look at it i'm like it just looks so bad. <laughs> so, and even <clears throat> with the blades on the hands and stuff like that, you wanted to carry that through and have blades on the rest of it. Now the blades actually aren't part of him phys physio physiologically. physiologically. Yes. yes. They are an accessory. They are like earrings, for example. They're just like embedded into the rock as like a, a you know, an earring type thing. Yeah, and there's even um, you know metal where the, what is that thing called? Eyeshadow? Eye, eye line. Yeah, I mean, yeah. eyeshadow <laughs> blades, because why not? <laughs> <Can I? laughs> yeah, so I had a lot of fun. Like, even like with the face and stuff, it was just trying to figure out the best angle to draw it all. So it came across as the way we wanted it to. So like the side angle, I don't tend to draw characters on the side because, you know, I want to put as much detail into their faces and stuff like that. And I feel like, Sometimes doing side views, I don't get to put as much as I want into it. Yeah. I don't know, it's just a weird thing with me. It's just like, bleh. And now with the hair, we did the hair exactly the same color as Moody. Moody has some brown patches on the top of his ears, mm -hmm. and they're really chocolate brown. Then he has pure white, and then he has this tail that is like this beautiful, beige color. soft beige yeah, color. It's really nice. It's just like it's just like a chocolate cat. And when I look at this picture, right, and I see his hair, it makes me so happy because it just looks like our cat so much. Yes, the. It looks so soft and like, I just want to pat Touch the it. hair. Oh my God. It's like, it reminds me of a cotton ball at the same time as reminding us of Moody. Yes, and I could just imagine like, if you walked up to him and you'd be like, hey, can I touch your hair? Like, no, with his blade head, like, get away from me. <laughs> it's like, dodge, 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 dodge. And it's just like some crazy cat person, like trying to reach for his hair constantly. Let me pat you, let me pat you, no, no, no. <laughs> like what he is now. <laughs> So the portions that we wanted to do was we put chocolate at the top at the smallest amount and then we put beige as the next amount but we wanted the white, white to, to be, be the, the most, most dominant. Yes. yes. Yeah, and then as well as the, the whole proportions of the body as well, like I wanted him to be very like tiny body because he has like tiny body but really massive legs and paws like I was saying before. So I wanted the arms and the legs to be like super long and crazy looking compared to it and it just like helped add to that alien look about him. Yeah, and the original picture of it, well the original picture of the two different ones because I had two reference pictures. One I made of a Tamaranian Kryptonian, and the other one I made of a Hercules Titan. Yeah. The Hercules Titan had those 
really extended limbs that made it look very fantasy, very alien. Yeah, and then I like that, so I just went with it and extended it more to make it more so. Yeah. And then as well with like the background. Ah, stop it, get it, no! <laughs> They're in one of those rooms, of course, when my voice recording. But anyways, uh, the background, I didn't really know what to do, so I went with like a wintry type theme because I felt like it would suit a lot and eerie and, you know, something, I don't know. I need to yeah. work on backgrounds, I really do. It's just like <laughs> an afterthought. I never think about them and then when I come to them, I'm like, what do I do? Yeah. And then it's just whatever. <laughs> if I can't think of something to give you an idea about, I'm just like, you're on your own. Uh, and they all pretty much look the same. It's like a nice pinkly, purpley background of something, a cosmic <laughs> or a sky. <laughs> well, I think that's it, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, meow. Bye, meow.